Okay, this is a little lesson in what we call unit analysis or dimensional analysis. Another term you might hear, especially in math class, is the factor label method. We know that in science and medicine, all we ever use is metric system, right? So ideally, you would never need to convert. You'd just always be moving a decimal left to right if you, if you were strictly in the metric system, right? Sometimes, however, because we are in one of three countries where metric is not used across the board, we have to do some conversions. We might have to go from English to metric or metric to English. We're teaching the factor method, uh, met factor label method in chemistry also because later on we get to something called stoichiometry. All right, you're going to see a, a similarity in the process. It'll be, it'll, it should ring a bell and you'll say, oh, I remember that when we did factor label or dimensional analysis. So what we're doing is we're going to set up a conversion, a series of conversion factors. I'm going to start kind of easy and just do one conversion factor initially, and then eventually we'll be able to do multiple conversion factors. Let's start by giving you some what we call conversion factor, which means it's a number equivalency. So you already know some common conversion factors. All right, how many inches are in a foot? All right, good. So 12 inches are in a foot. All right. And how many feet are in a yard? Three feet are in a yard. All right. And anybody happen to remember how many feet are in a mile? All right. So 5,280 feet in a mile. I'm going to just stop there because that's enough conversions to do what we're going to do. If you were asked to convert, all right, let's say we said convert um, a thousand inches into miles. So we're going to say that's our, our problem. You were asked to convert a thousand inches into miles. All right, the, the, this process starts the same way every single time. All right, the first thing you write down is the number and unit that's given. All right, so which number and unit are being given for that problem? All right, a thousand inches, right? So that's the given, a thousand inches. So that's the first thing I'm going to write down. So, and I'm going to erase this. So I have some room here. All right. So we're going to come back. We're going to use that knowledge of the conversion factors in just a second. So start by always writing down your given a thousand inches. All right. I know I need to eventually get to miles, right? I don't want inches. So I need to get rid of the unit inches. All right. In order to get rid of inches, if I put it on top of my first conversion factor, inches times inches would give me inches squared. That's not what, we're, what we want. I want to get rid of inches and eventually work my way into miles, right? I'm trying to change inches to miles. So if I put inches on the bottom, all right, and this is a good call of conversion number equivalency. How many inches did you say were in a foot? All right, 12. So I can put 12 on the bottom and then go back and look and ask yourself, is that a true statement? Are there 12 inches in one foot? Yes, because you don't want to put 12 feet or in one inch. That would be backwards. So you got to look at what, what's given you, okay? All right, so I'm going to mark out inches because they can cancel. That unit can cancel, right? Now I want to get rid of what? Foot. Foot or feet. You can say it plural or singular. In order to get rid of feet, I would need to put it on the bottom. And here's where you ask yourself again, do I know, can I go from feet directly to miles? <coughs> All right, yeah, because we said just a second ago, there's 5,280 feet in a mile, right? So we'll put 5,280 feet on the bottom to one mile. I like to cancel my identical units and then circle whatever my final desired unit would be. So I know that, yeah, I'm, I'm done with the problem. All right, so now, all I have to do is just calculate, crunch the numbers. 
This number, any number by itself, is understood to be over the number one, right? So that number is in, technically in the numerator. So I'm gonna say 1,000 times one times one over, and we know that's over the number one, so one in the denominator, one times 12 times 5,280. And the final unit will be miles. Okay, now on your calculator, you should have like an open parentheses, closed parentheses. So utilize that. So I would encourage you to go um, to key it in this way. Say, and actually, since it's 1,000 times 1 times 1, I don't have to do that for the numerator, right? So I just know it's 1,000. So I'm going to do 1,000 divided by open parentheses. 1 times 12 times 5280, close parentheses, equals. All right? As long as you carry it, um, we'll just say, like this number is going to be 0.015782828. I'm going to kind of round it up a little bit. I don't need to write all those numbers, okay? So if you said 0.016, I just rounded that five up to a six miles, that would be correct. That'd be your final answer. I would always do it twice just to make sure you didn't type it in wrong. So I'm gonna just double check my work one more time. 1,000 divided by open parentheses, one times 12 times 5280 close parentheses equals. And that's what I got again. So I confirm my answer is 0 0.016 miles. Okay. So just to kind of recap the procedure, and this will get easier and easier. The first, you know, for most students, they hit chemistry, and maybe they've never done factor label method or dimensional analysis ever before. It seems kind of overwhelming at first, but then the more you do, it just gets simpler and simpler. So we always start by writing down the given, write down the given, and then you're going to, you need to multiply by some conversion factor, all right, that's going to enable you to cancel units, right? So I want to get rid of inches. It's always going to be whatever's here in the numerator, that unit is always on the bottom. So it's kind of like a crisscross, crisscross. Then I want to go to something that's a true statement. Ask yourself, are there 12 inches in one foot? Is that true? Yeah, there, that's an equivalency, right? So that's written correctly. I don't want feet, so again, I'm gonna go down here and put the unit feet, and we know that there's a common conversion that says there's 5,280 feet in one mile. So this one happened to be a one, two, three step problem. They, they all vary. Sometimes it's just one step, could be a, you know, multiple steps. But that's how you do dimensional analysis or otherwise known as factor label method. Okay.